Auntie Daddy Smack Plus Me. For reaching 10,000 subscribers, I kind of wanted to make myself a, a YouTube play button. And obviously, I'm going to make it out of plaster because I'm a plasterer. So, here we are, guys. I've made the, basically the reverse of what I want. And I'm going to give it a, a wee sort of prime up here with some button polish. So this, like I say, is the reverse and I'm going to make the, the the final product from this one on the button polish here and that should seal it. And then what I will be doing here will be casting into the seal mould basically and that will give me the imprint of what I want. So basically I want that play button the wee triangle play button popping out and that'll be the effect I sort of want um, also try to make it look a wee bit metallic -y as well with its finish but yeah we'll keep playing on here and show you the end results spell it up a wee bit here and give it two coats of this stuff as well and that'll really seal it in so that the, the next one doesn't bomb them so here I'm ready with my fan cast casting plaster and um, plaster porous and pour it into the mold now. Also have greased that up as well because the button polish wouldn't be enough to actually stop it bonding together, especially with the the shape. I do expect this to lock in pretty tight. So just want to top this right up and Bit of a wetter mix than I would probably normally use, but this will still set well. And it's pretty fun to do this sort of stuff, guys. Don't know if any of you have ever sort of made your own wee moulds or anything, but it's definitely worth a little play about, a little test. So I will give this a little top, a little vibrate, just try and lift any bubbles, but. Mm, not, not too much because I don't want it actually seeping around the edges and locking the play button inside. Trying my best to release it all now. Um, the plan is to actually keep the, the original model of the play button, the reverse, and the tub. But as you will find out, sometimes plaster really does bond well so we kind of have to break the plastic to get it out something that it would just release easy enough um, that's that's one thing about plaster if it locks in it it surely does lock um, I have no doubt that once I get it out of the plastic I'll be able to separate the two from each other I have it well greased up um, what I hadn't actually greased was the original play button, the the model. You can see it's taken quite a bit of effort to get them out of the plastic. So, yeah, like I said, plastic has to go. But not too bad. Still, at this point, I was hoping to keep the the original and you'll, you'll see it's, it's a bit thinner than the new piece so the chances of it cracking and getting damaged are pretty high but mm, neither, neither way it shouldn't matter because as long as I don't break the new piece I'm okay because I do plan on making a mold of that so that I can replicate it over and over again but separating it's always plaster plaster is always a bit tricky I find anyway even though I really really greased that up but again like I said it's the shape it's pretty pretty well locked in with that sort of RO shape and just cutting more trying to cut the smaller piece here than the bigger piece as the bigger piece is the final the, the actual final product so 
Does anybody want to have a guess whether it comes off the wall? Or not? The anticipation. <laughs> but slowly but surely. Finally, so the that's that's the exact thing that I want, guys. Pretty happy with it. The wee bubbles and all too. Purposely left them like that as want to sort of make it look not just smooth, smooth, just a wee bit different. And yes, the bottom kind of came out a bit chipped. So, but I don't need it anyway. As this this here is the bio that I'm wanting to replicate. And just putting some more button polish on it. Again, we'll give two good coats and let it dry. And then my idea is I'm going to try and make a silicone mold around this. And then back that up with a plaster mother mold. So that I can cast more out. If anybody wants some, you just can let me know. Um, I know I'll have one lined up for my mate who wants one. Um, and... You know, I kind of like the colour of the button polish on it. Kind of looks like a a, bra a bronze play button, um, more than a it's like silver or gold. But I think this would look nice painted silver or gold as well, because it's sort of got that be bubbly metal look to it, um, or like a copper green as well could be pretty pretty interesting. But um, let me know your thoughts, guys. Um, just a wee bit of fun for the 10,000 subscriber mark. Um, I know I didn't get it uploaded in time. I was trying to make it for that, but I missed the mark. Um, maybe I'll make a, an even better one for 20,000 or 25,000. If, if we ever reach that figure. But, you know, I've been enjoying it so far. So, just getting the silicone on now, gonna give it a good couple of coats, and then, like I say, I'm gonna back this up with plaster, and try and replicate it further. So, getting good weather for it, and you aren't allowed to look to my right, that's for a different video. So, you just have to pretend you haven't seen that yet, that's an upcoming video on something that a sculptor actually made me um, sort of a big shout out to her she knows who she is um, absolute artist so again that's a different video you just have to subscribe to see that one it's upcoming and I think you'll like it definitely think you'll like it but yeah just a quick quick silicone on this couple of coats and then the plaster back coat so all my silicone is done and I just scraped it off and put it on my little mold box here I filled all my corners out with some plaster and let that set so that when I pour plaster over this that it won't just pour out all over the place um, so nice wee bag of plaster ready to go and you always mix your plaster casts like this adding the plaster in letting it soak is the best way <coughs> I also have a wee bit of scrim as I want to make this this sort of mother mould this plaster backing pretty strong so I'm going to put a bit, of, a bit of scrim tape there a bit of hessian into the back and that will just reinforce it a little bit more so need a good, good, good drop of plaster for this and you can see my weak points to this really is just going to be left and right because the top and bottom have plenty of room. Um, again, not not a massive layer of silicone. Uh, might have been better doing this. I might do it again in the future with with latex. Um, as latex can go on 
a bit thinner than the silicone, I think. It should have a bit more elasticity and uh, more strength. But we'll, you know, we'll cross that bridge if we need to. Um, but just really playing around and making a few molds and um, quite enjoyable. Um, say there's quite a lot of people like making their own me projects and me molds. This is sort of something that keeps me busy when I'm I'm not busy, or maybe when I should be busy. But I'm, I'm playing with molds, making molds. Again, this was done some time ago, but I was never able to get time to get it uploaded for actually reaching ten thousand subscribers. But I don't think we're we're not only five hundred past that at this stage, so. It's still quite relevant, and still, still the reward <laughs> of of reaching a goal. So again, anybody out there is trying to reach goals and stick at it, and it's only one way you're gonna get the goals, and that's if you just keep pushing on, and don't give up. And um, if you give up, you'll never reach them. And at least if you don't reach them, and you try, at least you tried. So I really wish us all good luck on, on hitting all your targets and all your goals, be it YouTuber, just life in general. So best of luck to you and if it is YouTube and you just want to play button for hitting a thousand subscribers or five thousand or ten thousand or whatever it is, let me know. I'm sure we're gonna read something. If you just like the play button that I created. But yeah, all for a bit of fun. And let's give this a little top and we'll see how this all releases. So again, I did have to fight with this a little bit and unfortunately that took a bit of a toll on one of the corners of the silicone. As you can see, I've got a wee tear. So I'm not, not really impressed with that. Um, yes, if I had more silicone I could have went thicker, but I didn't have any more. I used it on something else, which is I'll have to wait to see. Um, there'll be another video but yeah I think I'll still be able to use this as is anyway and just grease up the openings I also think that I can use that mother mold and cast one out of that so we'll, we'll cast one out and see what happens Again, just knocking up a little bit more casting plaster. I'm gonna try and cast one out, just solid, no, no need for anything special. It's quite a quite a brick. It's quite the PlayStation Play button. It's like a brick, so just giving it all be paint. I have greased the back side of the silicone to stop anything seeping out, because that be split. So don't really want it coming out and sticking to the mother mold. But I'm gonna try and cast this out and we'll see how we get on. Just really same again. Just gonna put it in, give it a bit of a shake, try and knock any air bubbles up from the face. There shouldn't be any as I did brush the plaster on first so that should break all the surface tension. But yeah, let's let's see how we get on when this one is re released out. So, just giving it a, a bit of a, a vibrating as well to try and knock any air out of it, make sure it's as solid as possible, and just cleaning down the edges here using a refiner trowel. Probably should use something plastic if I'm wanting to save the rubber, but. As you know, the rubber slightly damaged anyway. So this is that cast that you've just seen. And unfortunately, the memory card decided to pack in for some reason. 
Um, so I had to cast out another one again, which is this is now the second one out. You can see where the, the wee bits of towers just sort of leaked. But I think it's came out pretty pretty good considering. And like I say, I can go straight into the the plaster mold itself as well. That will give a pretty nice finish. Actually give a smoother finish, but I sort of want the, the sort of metallic looking finish. Um, that's why I give it a another little seal on this one. This one's actually for a mate who wanted one, so he he's getting the very first one made. And I think uh, it comes up well with the button polish on it. Um, enjoyed making this wee video again for the 10,000 subscriber mark that we hit. Who knows where else we'll get to? Hopefully we can keep climbing. Um, still enjoying making all the videos myself so I'm going to keep on going guys and obviously all the support you guys give mean, means a big big lot to me and um, keeps pushing me on also with all the questions and um, able to help people and also with some of the questions I'm able to make videos to answer and get some good ideas so yeah there's gonna be more mold making and playing about in the future as well so hopefully you're enjoying this side of plaster um, you always learn something different and um, even now I learn every day working with some guys who who are fibrous plastering geniuses so I'm definitely gonna try to learn as much as I possibly can off them and hopefully it'll benefit me in the future